If you're thinking about moving and you wanna learn about what everyday life is gonna be like in your new town, this is the place for you. On Open House, we sit down with local top producing real estate agents to help you find the best places to live in DC, Maryland, and Virginia. So if you don't want buyer's remorse and you wanna find your dream town, we are here for you. So go ahead and book a free call with us and we'll help guide you to the area that is right for you. Now let's jump in and learn about your new home. Hey everyone, welcome back to Open House. I'm Zach, and today we're going to be talking about Norfolk, Virginia. MJ Huff is a local resident and expert in the area, so we're going to be talking about everything from homes to entertainment. Um, MJ, thanks for coming on the show today. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Of course. I, I want to know how long you've been an agent, because that um, that's always good to know, and also what you love about living in the area. Sure. I've been an agent for 25 years and uh, been selling real estate in this particular area for the last 10 years. Um, I think probably the thing I love the most about living in Norfolk is just the diversity. Uh, I think there's really something for everybody here. Um, it's a college town. It's a Navy town. We have a little bit of urban. We have a little bit of suburban. We have a little bit of ocean, a little bit of bay. So I think no matter who you are, you can find something that you really like about the area for sure. That's really cool. I, uh, I've i grown up around lakes and the ocean was always a big deal to me. So having two, you know, having both right next to each other is really interesting. Um, what's the what's the population of, of Norfolk? The population is around 244,000 people right now in Norfolk. OK. And kind of and a you, small little area, actually. Yeah. Gotcha. OK, so because you had mentioned it was city and suburban. I'm curious about how that's broken up. Yeah. Um, you know, we have basic like suburban area with regular neighborhoods and shopping centers and targets and walmarts and those kinds of things we also have uh, a downtown area with tall buildings and more of an urban feel and we and we have um, sort of like an area in norfolk called ghent which is a little bit in between the suburban and the urban and little boutique restaurants and uh local companies but still a lot of historic property so yeah it's whichever one you're looking for you can definitely find that's really cool well and i'm seeing it's kind of broken up into almost into quarters where you have 64 that comes um mm -hmm. you know like northwest and then it turns into 564 and just ends what's up with that yeah so that basically ends right at the uh norfolk naval station which is the navy base here in norfolk and um oh. you have 64 which runs i think west and east and then 264 uh, that runs um, east and west and north and south. So Norfolk actually for commuting to really anywhere in the Hampton Roads area is pretty centralized. It's kind of right in the middle. You could get out to Virginia Beach, Hampton, uh, Portsmouth, Chesapeake, some of the other cities that surround Norfolk pretty easily. So the commuting is uh, is not bad depending on where you work in Hampton Roads. That's really cool. I was going to ask about you know how how accessible it is. Um, which kind of goes into some some other logistics when people are looking to live somewhere, which would be what the, you know, how much it costs to live there? What's the, the median home price? Another great thing about the area is it's not overly expensive. You could pick up a single family home in the low 200s all the way up. Um, I think our median sales price is probably somewhere around 275 to 300. So uh, comparative looking at like DC or Baltimore or Richmond, um, which are the other cities along sort of on the Eastern seaboard here. I think uh, Norfolk is a very reasonable, reasonably priced place to, to own a home. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's not bad. Do you guys have majority of single family homes or are there other like apartments and townhomes? Yeah, we have everything. We have um, mid rise, high rise apartments. We have row houses, uh, single families, condos, townhomes. Um, we have newer construction and we also have historic property that's a hundred years old or more. So if you're looking for that historic charm, we definitely have that. That's really cool. Well, and I was, I was going to ask where those are located. Are those closer to the downtown area 
or are they more spread out? Yeah, so um, downtown and going north of downtown into Ghent, we're going to have more of like the historic property uh, homes that are anywhere from 50 to 100 years. or Some of them are even older than that. Um, we have row house, single family homes. Um, and then as you move north into Ocean View, which is a little bit of like a, a beach area for Norfolk, the homes there are probably, you know, not as old, uh, built in the 50s, 60s and 70s, some 80s. And then there are other areas around the outskirts where homes are even newer than that. So, yep, we have uh, homes in all the ranges as far as age goes. Something for everyone. So. Yeah, absolutely. That's cool. Uh, that kind of makes me wonder what people do for work out there, because I know you had mentioned a naval base and then you've I, I know that government jobs just in the D.C. area in general are pretty big. What are some other things that people do for work and, and where do they commute to do that? Yeah, so um, probably the biggest employer here is going to be the, the Navy. Um, Norfolk Naval Station is the actually the biggest Navy base in the world. And I believe there is. Wow probably 60,000 or so active service people um, assigned to that base. So that's a huge employer here. We have a lot of military. Um, we also have um, a lot of ship repair for the Navy. So a lot of military contracting, uh, that's another big employer. We also have um, three universities. We have uh, Eastern Virginia Medical School, EBMS for medical. We have Norfolk state university and old dominion university we have um a lot of uh teachers and professors and things like that a lot of doctors um because of the medical uh, area is pretty big here um Sintera health in particular is one of the bigger employers and then the shipyards um it's pretty common to to meet people that work in the shipyards and do repairs on the ships when the navy ships are being rebuilt um and for example the the new carrier, the Ford, was built right here in Hampton Roads. So um, I would say Norfolk, you know, has a real like sort of a nautical feel to it uh, because yeah. we do have the mouth of the Chesapeake is right here. We have the Atlantic Ocean to the east and then the Elizabeth River to the south. So um, there's definitely a lot, a lot of industry surrounding, uh, you know, water. Yeah, water, <laughs> the Navy, nautical stuff, boating. So that's that's a big deal here. That's really cool. I, I had no idea that the biggest naval base in the world was right where you're at. So yep. learn something new every day. Um, I'm curious about commute, you know, for those that are, cause you had mentioned it's pretty central. What's the average commute time for people if they're going to another city? I used to live in DC. So in my experience, um, the traffic there is so horrible compared to here. I mean, I think you could pretty much get anywhere you need to go within 30 minutes here. Um, wow. For example, we down in Virginia Beach, which is the city that neighbors Norfolk to the to the east, you can go from Norfolk to the boardwalk to the edge of the ocean within 30 minutes, pretty much any day of the week. So wow. I wouldn't expect someone to have a commute that would be more than 30 minutes unless they're either living really far out or working really far out. Yeah. So like Newport News, Chesapeake, Virginia Beach, that's all within half an hour. Yeah. Um, one thing to think about is. We do have two tunnels, uh, the Hampton Roads Bridge Tunnel and the uh, Monitor Merrimack Tunnel. Both of those, one goes to Newport News, one goes to Hampton. Uh, that can be a little backed up, especially in the summer because of the uh, the vacationers coming down to vacation in Virginia Beach or the Outer Banks. Um, we call it here the south side and the peninsula. The peninsula's on the other side of the tunnels. Um, Norfolk is on the south side. So if you're on the south side, yeah, the commute's going to be no problem. That's cool. It's good to know because I know people uh, would rather not sit in their car t five hours a day. <laughs> yeah, they are building a new tunnel. So within a few years, we're going to have more access to getting over to the peninsula. So it should be improving, but it's 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 really not that bad. Cool. Um, you had mentioned colleges earlier. That kind of brings me into into like family living and, and what it's like to, uh, you know, to live there with kids. Um, speaking of schools, like what are some of the public schools that are available in the area? And do you have any other specialty schools or charter schools or anything sure. like that? Yeah, um, probably the two biggest schools in Norfolk are going to be Granby High School and Norview High School. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I think is outlined about the schools here, which is really kind of cool and interesting, is that um, we have uh, 
a lot of military influence on on the kids of the military um, and uh, the ROTC programs are actually very uh, alive and well here in Norfolk. So it's uh, if you are a military family and you'd like your kids to be part of ROTC, it's very active here. Mm -hmm. um, we also have a lot of private schools, collegiate level um, and religious schools, Christian, Catholic, um, Jewish. So definitely uh, the schools, whatever type of school you're looking for, you can definitely find it in Norfolk for sure. Cool. Variety seems like the uh, the name of the game out there. So that's a good thing to know going in. And, you know, speaking of variety, people do like a variety of, of things to do and entertainment. So let's say um, starting with family activities, you know, you have a couple kids, maybe a dog. Like what are some things that that families tend to do in the Norfolk area? Um, yeah. So as far as families and kids, I, I know one of the one of the things that's kind of popular here is uh, the youth sailing programs. Um, ODU actually has a youth sailing program where you you go out and race um, on the little sailboats. And we also have a place in downtown called Nauticus. They have a little sailing club there, and you can join and you can you can have your kids or you could learn how to sail. So I know that's that's kind of a big thing here is sailing. Uh, what about like any sort of attractions or parks or anything like that? Yeah. Um, again, I think Norfolk has a little bit of something for everybody. Um, I know uh, the, the city of Norfolk has uh, built a lot of different parks. We have a couple skate parks uh, for skateboarding. We have uh, a botanical garden um, where you can go and look at flowers in season all year round. They have different programs um let's see but what else do we have for parks um down in downtown norfolk we have town point park which is a place right on the water um, where they have a lot of festivals and events we have latin fest greek fest um one of my uh favorite ones is actually um harbor fest which is where uh, a lot of the locals and people come out of town they gather at the waterfront in downtown uh, Norfolk and the whole entire city and the military, the, the fire department, the police department, the Coast Guard, and then people that own local boats do what's called a parade of sails where they just drive the boat past the carrier piers at the base and come all the way down to downtown Norfolk, make a U-turn and go back out. Everybody sits on the edge of uh, waterside right down there where the water is and they cheer and you know it's it's kind of a big deal for us here in Norfolk and it, it's a super fun event and that's right there at Town Point Park. That's sweet well I was I was going to ask you about events because I know that that's uh, typically what makes a community what it is so that's a really unique uh, really unique festival that you guys do are there any other uh, any other events that stand out e either holiday events or anything else? I know uh, there's a theater downtown called the Wells Theater, which um, typically will do the Nutcracker around Christmas and other uh, shows and plays. We have uh, a minor league baseball team. Okay. We, we also have an area near downtown called the Neon District, which is an arts district. And they're constantly having uh, painting nights and displays, and painting of local artists. Um, we also have... Uh, the Chrysler Museum of Art, which is right on in downtown. Myself, I'm actually a music guy. We have a little venue here in Norfolk called the Norva, and it's a really small little venue where sort of up and coming bands will play. We really do have something for everybody. Um, another thing I'll mention is we have an area of Norfolk called Ocean View, which is uh, along the northern edge of Norfolk abutting the Chesapeake Bay. So the Chesapeake Bay dumps right into the Atlantic Ocean right here in Norfolk. And Ocean View is uh, basically a community of mostly um, more probably condos and apartments and some single families, but great beach access. The beaches are rarely filled um, because a lot of the, the tourists are going over to Virginia Beach. So you sort of can have the beach to yourself. We also have a fishing pier there and uh, one of the restaurants that are my favorite is um, right there at the fishing pier. You can go fish off the pier and there's a little restaurant and bar right at the foot of the pier. You can go in and have some seafood. And uh, it's one of the best views of, of the Chesapeake that we have. That sounds really nice. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to check that out. 
And you you mentioned seafood. What's the rest of the food scene like in Norfolk? Yeah, I think um, Hampton Roads, which is made up of of seven different cities, I feel like Norfolk probably has the quirkiest and the most trend forward types of restaurants. Um, whatever you're looking for, you can find it. We have lots of uh, Latin American cuisine. We have Italian. We have everything. Um, whatever you're looking for, you can find it here. The food's excellent. Where's like your top two or three favorite places? So there's a little area in downtown Norfolk called the Freemason area. And it's a it's called the historic Freemason area. And there's cobblestone streets and old historic property. There's one in particular that comes to mind called uh, Omar's Carriage House. It was built around 1840 or so, but it, originally wow. it was uh, a carriage house where horse-drawn carriages would drive through and they would lower hay down from a hay loft into the carriage and then the horse and carriage would go right on through huh. well today it uh it's a restaurant and you can eat on in the hayloft it's not it sounds not as good as it is it's actually great it's a little restaurant you can eat upstairs you can, they still have the original hole in the ceiling where they would lower the the hay down to the uh to the carriages but it's a great restaurant you got a little cobblestone street out front very small very intimate great place for date night um something like that um Another place over in um, in Freemason area is a Cure Coffee House, one of my favorite spots for coffee. Uh, they also serve um, adult beverages if you want to have a beer. So it's not just a coffee house. They also have open mic night. I think I was there recently. They had um, open mic night for uh, bluegrass and um, just a fun, fun little coffee shop. Quirky in the downtown area, sort of near the water, cobblestone streets. Um, so, yeah, there's there's a there's a ton of great restaurants. There's it's, I feel like there's breweries at least in Norfolk and um, super wow. fun to go. Yeah, hang out, have a beer, meet people. Yeah. Well, in this this Freemason district does sound really interesting. Is there is there any other like historic part of Norfolk that is just really unique? There's a place in downtown Norfolk called Nauticus, and it's basically a I'll just say Navy slash nautical museum and anchored next to Nauticus is uh, the battleship with the U.S. Wisconsin, which was the one of the battleships that was uh, in, the, in the Pacific theater during World War II. That's anchored here. You can go to Nauticus. You can look at all kinds of cool Navy stuff, um, nautical things. They talk about the shipping channels and big, huge cargo ships that come in. And you can also uh, tour the USS Wisconsin, which I think is a is a super fun thing to do if, if you're if you're here and hanging out. Yep. I've never been on a battleship, so I might Pretty have cool, to yeah. might have to check that out. Do you guys have any like any national parks nearby or state parks or uh... we have uh, Fort Monroe, which is a military installation over in Hampton. Um, you know, Hampton Roads in general is not a huge area. Um, one of the one of the things that I think is unique about Norfolk is you get that a little bit of that urban feel with the suburban also, but it's small enough to where you, you it does feel like its own little community. Over in Virginia Beach, we have a state park, and there is a state park in there's a couple in Virginia Beach, one called uh, False Cape State Park, which mm -hmm. is basically in the corner um, next to North Carolina. And the only way to get to it is actually to travel by foot about or by tram about, I think it's about four or five miles to get into the park. And it's, it's a very remote. If you're into hiking, that's a great spot. It, that's not technically in Norfolk, but it's maybe a 30 minute drive. That's and not bad. That's you can success. walk along. Uh, you can walk along the trails there. You can go out on the beach. They have a uh, big pine forest. You can, you can walk around. They also have primitive camping. Um, and then we have um, First Landing State Park as well, uh, which is is also in Virginia Beach, but very near to Norfolk. We have a lot of trails there. Um, there's some beautiful Spanish small trees back there, and that's on part of the Chesapeake as well. If you have an RV, they, they have RV camping there as well. Okay. Yeah. So camping, hiking, um, yeah. beach, obviously. So the that's... beach, surfing, um, sailing, boating, yeah, fishing. I think one of the signatures of Norfolk is that it really does feel like a coastal town. It feels, 
you, you get a little salt in, in yeah. the spirit of the city. That's nice. I know, I know a lot of people really, uh, they, they look for that salt, like you said. Yeah. So yeah, that's why I'm here. I love it. I have a sailboat. I sail so. Uh, I, that's, Sweet. yeah, really enjoy it here. Yeah. Well, yeah, this, I mean, Norfolk sounds like a really, really cool place for those who, who love the water and just love history and also those who are into the arts. Um, cause you had mentioned, you know, a couple of those places where they have open mic nights and, uh, and painting and stuff like that. And then of course, um, you know, you have the, the urban feel for the entertainment and the suburban areas for some quieter living. So, um, yeah, MJ, this is this was great. I really appreciate you taking the time to come on and share your knowledge of Norfolk with us. And uh, I, I learned something new today. I think the rest of us did as well. Great. Well, thank you for having me. I really appreciate it.